Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna show you how to make these apple burritos. Now, this is a fun recipe to make, perfect for fall time, so keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make these. The first thing you wanna do is start off with two apples that have been washed and cleaned. Um, we're gonna skin these apples first, and then we're gonna cut them up and dice them. Once your apples have been skinned, now what we're going to do is I'm going to use this to core the apples. It makes things a little easier. And we're going to dice these up. I want to cut them really small. So I've diced up one of those apples. It is quite a lot. So if you just want to use one apple, that's fine. It depends on how many you're going to be making. Next, in a cast iron pan, or any pan really, we're gonna melt down three tablespoons of butter. So melt that down first, and then we're gonna add in our diced apples. All right, so our butter is melted down. Now we're just gonna take our apples that we diced up and put it in the butter. And what you wanna do is stir this over medium low heat and it should take about five to 10 minutes until they're all nice and soft. Now what we're gonna do is prepare our topping. This is gonna to go over top of the apples when they are soft and they're still over on the stove right now. So I have a medium bowl here and in it I'm gonna put a half a cup of packed brown sugar. Also gonna put two tablespoons of regular white sugar a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a pinch of salt. Just mix this up really good, get it all well combined. And we'll just wait to put this on our apples. Next, we're gonna prepare our tortillas. And to do that, I have a small bowl here. I have one tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. Just mix that together. Now I have a large flour tortilla. You can use corn tortillas or whichever type you'd like. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I melted down some butter. This is about one tablespoon of butter. And we're gonna just coat that tortilla with the butter. When it's coated real good with butter, now we'll come back to our mixture that we just made. And you can just sprinkle some on. Coat it really good. And do that with a couple of them to prepare them so they'll be ready when our apples are all done. All right, so after about 10 minutes, you can see your apples are nice and soft. And what we're gonna do is add in our mixture. This is our brown sugar mixture. You're gonna add that in there. Mix it up really good. You can put it back on the stove to help mix it up. And after another minute or so on the stove with the mixture, you can see it has this nice caramelization and that is what we want right there. So now what we're gonna do is take our flour tortillas. Now we're gonna turn it the other side so the sugar side is down and we're gonna add some of our filling right in the middle there. Be careful not to add too much. It's tempting to put a lot in there, but we still have to roll this up. I also have some crushed walnuts and I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of that in there just to give us some crunch. If you don't have walnuts, you can use granola if you want that crunch or you can just leave it without the nuts at all. Either way, it'll be fine. Now we're just gonna take this and um, we're gonna fold this up. This is a rather large tortilla. At this point, I preheat them up into 350 degrees Fahrenheit and what I'm gonna do is take these, I just have two of them made, you can make more if you'd like. I'm gonna put these in a casserole dish. And we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna bake it for about 10 to 15 minutes. After they come out of the oven, just let them cool down for about five minutes or so, then you can plate them up and serve them.
Well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna dig in to one of our burritos that we have cut open here and see how it tastes. Mm. These are awesome. It's like a warm apple pie, but it has more of that brown sugar taste to it, like that caramelization. It's much better than apple pie. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these apple burritos. It was a lot of fun making these. It's perfect for a little snack or maybe even for dinner. So I hope you get a chance to try it for yourself. And if you do, please share with me on any of my social media at FunFoodsYT. Also check out some of the videos I have off to the side. I think you may enjoy those as well. And as always, I will see you next time.